to bring a different outlook on the matters to do with giving. Nataka basi tuangalie namna nyingine kwa hii jambo la kupeana na matoleo. By the help of God. Kupitia basi usaidizi wa Mwenyezi Mungu. As much as we have been commanded to give. Hata ingawa basi tumeamriwa tutoe. You need to understand there are people who have given in deception. Kuna watu ambao basi wametoa na kupeana kwa udanganyifu. They are practicing they are giving wanapeana na kutoa kwao in deception katika udanganyifu so there are traps there are kind of misunderstandings they have engaged during their giving basi kuna mambo ambayo wamepitia ambayo hawajaelewa katika matoleo yao so that is what i want to address today hiyo ndio nitaongelea leo praise the lord msifu bwana praise be to jesus msifu yesu praise be to jehovah msifu jehovah okay go with me to the book of matthew chapter 15 wacha tuangalie kitabu cha madhao mlango wa 15 we are going to start from verse 4 kuanzia mstari wa 4 are we together je tuko pamoja now you you should know Unafaa ujue kuwa and I know everyone of you are aware. Na najua nyote mnafahamu kuwa we have different kinds of giving. Tuko na aina tofauti tofauti ya kutoa na kupeana. We have giving to the poor. Tuko na ile basi kupeana na kusaidia maskini. We have fast fruits. Tuko na basi zile mazao ya kwanza. We have offerings. Tuko na sadaka. We have prophetic giving of giving towards a man of God. Tuko na ile pia kupeana kwa mchungaji. We have giving to us a church project. Tuko na pia matoleo katika miradi ya kanisa. We also have giving towards or giving to our parents. Hata pia kuna ile kupeana na kusaidia wazazi. And also we have a form of giving that many of you maybe have done it but you don't know. Kuna aina nyingine ya kupeana ambayo umefanya na pengine hamjajua. Maybe God will give me the grace and the chance to maybe share with us in details. Pengine Mungu atanipa neema ili niweze kuelezea kwa undani. And that is what I call bribe. Na hiyo ndio basi ninaita ile hongo. Hiyo najua mjaifunzwa. We don't know the the, the effects. Amjui basi madhara ya hongo. Maybe by the, the grace of God maybe I will touch on it sometime because today my time is so limited. Leo sitagusia masuala ya hongo kwa sababu ya muda lakini wakati mwingine kwa neema tu. The reason why I've introduced this scripture. Sababu ya mimi kuwaleta ile andiko is because I want us to come to a place of understanding that as much as we are, we are dealing with giving. Tunataka tuelewe kwamba hata ingawa tunatoa na kupeana you are likely to have yourself come under the influence of what we call the spirit of mammon. Unaweza basi kufika kuangozia chini ile roho ambayo tunaita roho ya I call it mammon. Pesa. It is called the spirit of mammon. Hiyo ni ile roho basi ya pesa. It is the spirit that sponsors the love of money. Hiyo ndi inafanya basi mtu akwe na ile kupenda pesa sana. It is the spirit that makes people value possessions above their own lives. Hiyo ndi basi inafanya watu wachukulie sana kumdhamana kwa vitu vya dunia. It is the spirit that makes people have uh they 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 they, they have uh change in their priorities. Hiyo ndio basi zinafanya watu waweke mambo mengine mbele kando na zingine. So they have put things to do with monetary value. Kwa hivyo vile vitu ambavyo vinatajia fedha as priority. Hivyo ndio vile wameweka mbele. At the expense of their own lives. Na hata maisha yao achukulie kipaumbele. At the expense of their own spiritual development and establishment. Hata basi maisha yao kiroa wajaeka kipaumbele. That is what I call the spirit of mammon. Hiyo ndio basi roho ya mammon. And friends marafiki zangu it is at work today leo hii roho inafanya kazi sana katika hii kizazi unfortunately kwa bahati mbaya it has penetrated in the corridors of our churches imeingia hata kwa makanisa zetu sasa it is in our pulpits today iko hata madhabahu leo hii every time people stand on the pulpits to speak kila wakati watu wanasimama kwa madhabahu kunena they stand to preach the gospel but behind it there there is a motivation of the mammon influence wanahubiri injili ndiyo lakini nyuma yake kuna basi nia fulani ambayo imeongozwa na hiyo it is not about the establishment of souls sio ili basi not about the transformations of life sili basi maisha badilike it is what am i getting ni nini basi ndapokea kutokana na hili that's what i came to deal with ah hiyo ndio leo hii tunaangazia do you know some of you don't want to involve yourself in whatever you you, you are not gaining financially wengine wenye mtaki kujihusisha kwa mahali ambapo amfaidiki kifedha ama mpati faida and yet god has aligned you he has already spoken to you that you need to participate in Lakin, certain things lakini mungu amekwambia basi unafaa ujihusishe kwa mambo mengine but because of your lack of monetary value La- monetary you know uh, uh, dividend kwa sababu wewe receiving anything kwa sababu unaona hapo utapokea chochote in terms of finances hautapata basi faida yote kifedha you don't want to involve ah wewe hautajihusisha hapo hata i'm going to show you na kuonyesha hapa in our teaching today kwa funzo la leo i know you may think that you are not under the influence of the spirit of mammon najua wewe unadhani kwamba hii roho haiko kwako i know that's what you are trying to conclude au unajaribu kusema wewe hii roho haiko ndani yako eh by the time i finish this teaching wakati tutamaliza ili funzo most of us will repent wengi wetu tutatubu hapo most of us here will have to go on a time of 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 spiritual sanitization wengi wenyu mtaenda kujitakasa basi 
Rome because of the state kwa sababu ya hali of your inner man in gusto hali ya hali ya moyo wenu kuangazia masuala ya pesa haleluya amen i think i need to start this from a good inafaa basi tuanganzie mahali pazuri let's start from matthew chapter 6 acha tuanzie kitabu cha madhamu mlango wa 6 we'll chapter 15 start from matthew chapter 6 from verse 23 Kitabu cha Mathayo mlango wa 6 mstari wa 23 we'll read, we'll read from verse 23 down to verse 24 down to verse 25 mm, Tutasoma mpaka mstari wa 25 All right Are we there Wonderful Thank you Can we read together Tusome pamoja basi I beg that we do the reading together Tusome pamoja What does the Bible says Bili nasemaje But if you are okay give us New King James New King James version He says Nasema but if your eye is bad lakini kama jicho lako ni kimbo your body will be full of darkness mwili wako utakomeja giza if therefore the light that is in you is darkness basi kama nuru iliyo mo ndani yako ni giza how great is that darkness basi hilo giza zitakuwa kubwa kiasi gani next verse verse 24 sari wa 24 the bible says bibili nasema let's read together one two three go No one can serve two masters hakuna mtu anaweza tumikia mabwana wawili for either he will hate the one and love the other kwa maana atamchukia huyu na kumpenda huyu or else he will be loyal to the one ama atashikamana na huyu and despise the other na kumdharau huyu mwingine you cannot serve god amwezi mtumikia mungu and the devil na mna mali no talk to me and the devil no and what na nini mamon mali we have two masters tuko na basi mabwana wawili hapa it is not god and the devil no sio mungu na ibilisi ya mashetani god and mamon ni mungu na mali that's why we cannot compare the devil and god we can't compare they are not in the same class hatuwezi linganisha basi shetani na mungu wako sawa so when it comes to matters to do with service ikikuja na mambo ya basi we have two entities that compete with one another tuko na mambo mawili ambayo yanashindana that is god hiyo ni mungu and mamon na mamon mamon mali mamon mali anything you ever do chochote ambacho uliwahi fanya is either influenced by this basi pengine mwongozwa na Mungu ama ni mali. So we have God. Tuko na Mungu, not the devil. Sio shetani. Not God and the devil. Sio shetani na Mungu. God and Mungu. Mungu, Mungu na mali. Sela. Aha, tafakari hayo. Your problem is not the devil. Shida yako sio shetani. Let's continue. Ah, the Bible says in the book, let's go to the next verse. Sari wa 25. Now, verse 25. Sari wa 25 nasema. Now this when now things begin to take a different direction. Sasa mambo yanaanza kubadilika hapa. Now I'll ask you a question. Nakuuliza tu swali. And this question happens to be covered in this verse. Na hii swali iko na bali imeguswa hapa katika hii andiko. And if I ask you kabla nikuulize let's read wacha tusome therefore kwa sababu i say to you ninawaambieni do not worry about your life msisumukie maisha yenu what you will eat mle nini or what you will drink mnywe nini no about your body wala mwili yenu what you will put mvae nini on aha is not life more than food and, and the body more than clothing je maisha si zaidi ya chakula na mwili zaidi ya mavazi stop there tulia listen skiza carefully Skiza basi makini. What scripture is trying to say? Ile andiko linajaribu kukuelezea. Bear in mind that we have two entities that we are supposed to serve. Ijua kwamba unafaa utumikie mama mawili hapa. Best on your choice. Kulingana na basi maamuzi yako na chaguo lako. And we will know the one you we have chosen to serve. Na tutajua umechagua kumwabudu nani? Based on the quality of your life. Kulingana na basi hali ya maisha yako. So he is saying here. Anasema hapa. You cannot serve God and mama. Uwezi tumikia Mungu na mali. You have to choose one. Lazima wewe uchague mmoja. Now he brings something into perspective in verse 25. Basi mstari wa 5 anatuonyesha kitu. One of the signs to know that you are under the influence of the spirit of mama. Ishara ya kwanza kujua kwamba unatumikia mali wewe. That you are serving mama. Kwamba wewe unatumikia mali. Is worry. Ni basi kukuwa na wasiwasi worry uko na wasiwasi na shaka mingi wewe anasema do not worry about basi usisumbuke anything usisumbukie chochote sema tafakari hayo how many people have been worried wangapi basi mmekuwa na masumbuko na wasiwasi kwa maisha yenu how you are going to eat how you are going to drink jinsi utakula jinsi utakunywa it is a pointer basi hiyo basi inaonyesha kuwa it is revealing the fact inaonyesha kuwa under the influence of the spirit of mama wewe basi unatumikia hii roho ya mama so your chances of serving mama are very high basi wewe uwezekano wako wa kutumikia mama chances of compromising because of what to eat are very high kujichanganya kwa sababu ya kile utakula iko juu chances of compromising i repeat is very high kujichanganya kwako basi iko karibu sana you are willing you are willing to take the path of mama uko tayari basi kutumikia mama because what mama will put before you kile ambacho mama itakupea he will show you the things you are missing without him itakuonyesha kile ambacho hauna kama hukumdudumi so because you don't have them kwa sababu sasa una hivyo vitu worry creeps in 
basi unaanza kuwa na wasiwasi na masumbuko you are under the influence of the spirit of mammon basi sasa ile roho ambayo iko imekukamata ni roho ya mama people have compromised wangapi mmejichanganya because of what to eat kwa sababu ya una cha kukula let's talk mm tuongee bwana yes let's talk mm You are single man now. Wewe basi wewe ni mama ambao unaona mume? Because there are violations, there are principles you violated. Kuna mambo ambayo ukuzingatia pengine. Instead of aligning your life in order. Badala ya kuweka maisha yako ikuwe sawa. Through putting you know arranging your priorities right. Weka basi vile vipaumbele sawa. A joker came your way. Kana mtu alikuja kwa maisha yako. I'm not saying all the single mothers. Si sema kwamba wote ni hivyo. I'm just trying to pick at a situation. Nachukua tu basi mfano. With all humility, with all humility and respect and love. Kwa unyenyekevu na upendo wali ajili. You went and slept with this man. Ulienda basi ukalala na humo na mume. That night. Kwa sababu hiyo usiku. You were in need of rent. Uliko unahitaji basi so kujenga. You needed to do something. Ilibidi tu ufanye kitu. To give something so that this man can now give you something in return. Ili basi una yakupe fedha kwa kwa kurudisha mkono. You did not fix your eyes on God. Au kuangazia basi usi wako kwa Bwana. For provision. Ili basi yakupatie. <laughs> There are two masters. Kuna basi mabwana wawili hapa. God. Mungu. Mama. Na mali. Not God and the devil. Sio Mungu na ibilisi. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 6 verse. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Hebrews 6 verse. The Bible says that it is the love of money that is the what? The root of all evil. Ni basi upendo wa mali ndio basi msingi wa uovu wote. The love of money is the root of all evil. Upendo wa mali ndio basi msingi na uovu wote. Behind the spirit of that, be, you know what we call the love of money, at the root of it is the spirit of mammon. Basi msingi wa pesa ni ile basi roho wa hii mali. Roho wa kupenda pesa. Roho wa kupenda pesa. Bible did not say money is the root of all evil. Biblia kusema kwamba pesa ndiyo basi msingi wa uovu. First Timothy 6:10. Yes. Now all that the Bible says. Biblia inasema aje. Let's read together. One, two, three, go. Ajili ya upendo wa pesa. For the love of money, it did not say for money. Hakusema pesa la. When you make love or oh, oh, sorry when you make money you are god wakati utafanya basi pesa iwe kama mungu wako the bible say that god is love biblia inasema kwamba mungu ni upendo so let's shift it a bit wacha tuibadilishe kidogo for the god of money kwa namna basi kwa kupenda fedha when you make money wakati unaweka hiyo fedha the center of your motivation ikuwe basi ninaongoza maisha yako you are likely to plunge into the corridors of compromise unaweza basi kujichanganya tu evil kuingia kwa maovu corruption kujichanganya That's a big problem we have. Hiyo ni shida kubwa tuliyo nayo. Father, I'm sorry to say this. Poleni sana. And please forgive me. Sameh ni tafadhali. Please forgive me. Sameh. I said here but let me repeat it. Nilisema lakini wacha nirudie. You know why some people have always have held debates about I think. Unajua ni kwa sababu gani watu wanaeka mjadala kuhusiana na masuala ya zaka? Because of the spirit of love. Ni kwa sababu wako na hii roho ya kupenda pesa. They are hiding behind religious outfits. Wanajificha nyuma ya dini ndiyo na kuvaa mavazi ya kidini. They are trying to hide to use their own convictions. Wanajaribu basi kutumia ushawishi wao as a shield. Kama basi ngao so that you know so that they should not obey God. Ili basi wasimtii Mwenyezi Mungu. Do you, know, do, you know, do you know why you have a problem with tithing? Unajua ni kwa sababu gani uko na shida na zaka wewe? Because you have a problem with management. Kwa sababu uko na shida ya usimamizi wewe. You know we will not successfully teach tithing. Hatutafaulu basi kufunza ili masuala ya zaka. If we don't teach people how to do their budget. Tusipofunza watu basi jinsi ya kuweka bajeti yao sawa. Unajua nini? One of the things that made Joseph deliver a whole nation from famine. Kitu moja ilifaa ilimsaidia basi Yusufu kuokoa basi na kukomboa dunia mzima kutokana na ukame. A whole nation. Taifa mzima. They had to build up reserves. Ilibidi basi wajenge mahali pa kuwekeza. Reserves. Waliweka akiba. We will not talk about 10%. Atutaongelea basi sehemu ya 10. If management of 90 is a problem. Kama uwezi kuwa msimamizi mzuri wa 90. Let's forget about it. Not hata tuende hata kwa sacrifice any other giving less. Let's put everything aside. Wacha tuweke kila kitu kama. Let's talk budget. Tuongelee basi budget yako. How many people here have budgets? You Watu. operate your life, you run your life with budget. Watu wangapi mnafanya maisha yenu kwa budget? There is an antidote. Kuna basi tiba for dealing with the spirit of mammon. Kubasi kupigana vita na hii roho ya kupenda pesa. And this antidote na hii tiba is what we call giving. Na ile tunaita basi kutoa. God gave us the strategy of giving. Mungu alitupea basi namna ya kutoa. So that we can fix mammon and his forces where they belong. Ili basi tushughulikie mali roho ya kupenda mali na mahali ambapo inafaa. Any person that doesn't commit to giving 
yoyote basi ambaye hajajipeana kwa kutoa I'm not saying paying giving towards debt Sisemi kulipa deni giving giving as an act of benevolence Basi kupeana katika upendo as a way of communicating distributing the blessings that God gave you so that others also can be partakers of Kama njia ya kugawanya baraka ambayo Mungu amekupea Sisemi hauna It's not giving is not just confined in money Kupeana sio tu kwa pesa peke yake You can give your time Unaweza peana hata muda wako You can give your jacket because you have been possessed You see The devil is trying to tell you that you have nothing to give. Shetani anajaribu kukwambia hauna cha kupeana. Let me ask you. Acha nikuulize swali. I'm going to ask many questions. Leo ndio uliza maswali mengi. How are you expecting to come out of poverty? Meanwhile we have no prescription in terms of prayer wise. Unatarajia aje kutoka kwa maskini kwa sababu hatuna namna kutoka kwa maskini kimaombi. There is no man that ever fasted and prayed. Hakuna mtu ali funga na kuomba. He came out of luck. Na katoka kwa maskini. No man. Hakuna mtu yote. How are you planning to leave the corridors of poverty? Unapanga aje kuachana na umaskini. Bible says. Biblia inasema there is he that scatters. Kuna yule basi ambaye anagawanya kwa wingi. Intends to much. Anagawana kwa wingi. Intends to much. Na na basi anapeana kwa wingi. Ah ah. There is he that gives. Kuna yule ambaye anapeana. Kuna yule ambaye anapeana. Then he gets much. Na anapata zaidi. The Bible says there is he that withholds. Kuna yule basi ambaye anashikilia. And turns into penury. Na basi anabakia kukosa zaidi. All right. Sawa. Proverbs 11:24. Kitabu cha Medhali mlango wa 11. We are dealing with the spirit of mammon. Tunaongelea hii roho basi ya kupenda mali na fedha. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. There is one who scatters. Kuna mmoja basi anapenda kwa wingi. Yet increases more. Na basi anaongezeka kwa zaidi. Yet increases more. Na basi anaongezeka zaidi. Yet increases more. Lakini anaongezeka zaidi. This scripture simply says. Hii andiko inasema. What you are lacking is what you are not giving. Kile ambacho hauna ni kile ambacho upeani. What you lack in your life. Kile ambacho hauna kwa maisha yako. It is what you don't give. Ni kile ambacho na wewe upeani. If you want to have increase in that thing that you desire. Kama unataka kukua na ongezeko kwa hilo unatamani is what releasing Pamilia ni kwamba wachilia hiyo kwanza That's why generosity was the cure is the cure then by God to set us free from the spirit of mammon Basi hiyo basi njia ambayo Mungu ameweka ili tuwekwe huru kutokana na hiyo A person that is under this influence of the spirit of mammon who will not mind to to to, to distribute Aliye na roho basi akupenda fedha hata shughulika na kutawanya mali yake They are working to withhold Kazi yao ni kushika tunakushikilia The Bible says Biblia nasema And there is one who withholds Na kuna yule aizuiae zaidi More than is right Is it your heart The problem is not withholding. Shida sio kushizuia. Some of you are withholding excessively. Yenye mnashikilia pasipyo haki. You are withholding excessively. Unashikilia zaidi. You are not supposed to withhold certain things. Amuhitaji kushikilia vitu vingine. Some resources right now you are not supposed to withhold. Kuna mali zingine ufai kuwa nayo saa hizi. How many of you? What when was the last time you you you, you honored your parents? Wakati wani wa mwisho uliheshimu wazazi wenu. You cannot fail in tithing. You are good in tithing. Ndio wewe unatoa zaka ndio? But when was the last time? Lakini je mwisho lini? honored your parents by giving them communicating substance to them Uliheshimu wazazi wako kwa kupeana tu kwa Listen to me Sikizeni basi marafiki If all that we we'll do is to give to church Kama tu kile tunapeana ni kupeana kwa kanisa We are in trouble Tuko kwa shida kubwa sana eh We are in trouble. Tuko kwa shida. If all you know, kama kile unajua, is to give to the poor. Ni kupeana kwa maskini. You are equally in trouble. Pia wewe uko kwa shida vile vile. We have to give the way it is needful. Lazima tupeane inavyofana inavyostahili. Is a hey, good. Dipatie uh, another version. Let's let's look at the f- several versions, you know. <laughs> give freely. Peana basi kwa ziwazi. Please read with me. Please read. Come on. Tusome pamoja. 1 2 3 go. Eh. Hey. Where is prayer there? Basi maombi imetajwa wapi hapo wapendwa? Where is prayer there? Maombi iko wapi hapo kwa hiyo andiko? Usiwaisema. Never say. Pasta. Pasta. My 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 mshahara is so tight. Mshahara yangu ni kidogo sana. We will fight this demon. Tutapigana vita na hii pepo. This thing called poverty. Hii pepo ya maskini. I hate it with all. Nina, I hate it passionately. Ninaichu kia kweli kweli i hate poverty nachukia umaskini mimi i hate it nachukia umaskini naichukia kabisa i hate nachukia umaskini benjamin unasikia kuna vile tunasema mm-hmm. you can walk out you can walk away from unaweza unaweza kuwa huru kutokana na umaskini now look at the next verse verse 25 msari wa 25 it says nasema verse 25 verse 25 the generous basi nafsi ya mtu mwenye 
saying. Now, please, please, I hope you know this. He is not just addressing the, the, the born again believers. It is it a spiritual principle. It works both in the divine and also in the secular. And he said the generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. And man who is refreshed is fresh. They are cool. Their life has no heat. Hivi na Aha, kamata, kamata. What do you feel? Heat. Aya, Aha, release. Gani? How do you feel? That's how givers. How you do, basi wale wa That is the experience of givers. Hivyo ndio basi watu wa karimu wanasikia. Tafakari hayo. 40 days. Siku 40. Three days of prayer and fasting. Siku tatu ya kufunga na maombi. I'm sorry. Pole pole oh. not the way out. Hiyo si njia kutoka kwa maskini. Sorry. Hiyo si njia pole sana. So I say mauna. Never say you don't have. Never say you don't Usiwai have. So I say mauna. And the Bible says. The Bible says. Jesus told them the poor will always be. Basi wale maskini siku not zote watabaki. There is no plan to make a, a, a territory have people that are not pure there is no that are not poor there is no plan like that they will always be there hakuna mpanga kusema kwamba tunataka kumaliza watu maskini siku zote watakuwa because kwa sababu there are people who will never pay attention when it comes to matters to do with generosity kuna watu ambao hawatawahi zingatia mambo ikikuja masuala ya ukarimu nataka ufikirie ikuingie kabisa naingie okay let me let me shift it a bit wacha nibadilishe kidogo let's go now nifungulie matthew 15 Kitabu cha Madhamu mlango wa 15 verse 20 pale tulikuwa 24 or something there Sarwa 24 I've said Nimesema if all you do kama kile ambacho unafanya is to give to God ni kupeana tu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu you are in trouble wewe uko na shida uko kwa taabu You are in trouble. Wewe uko kwa shida wewe. Right, right. Tuendelee. Tu, tu, tu for God commanded saying. God for, that is uh, Matthew chapter 15 from verse 4. Thank you. All right. Let's read together. Tuendelee, tuendelee tusome. 1 2 3 go. Yes. Honor your father and mother. Heshimu babako na mamako. Remember the Bible said that honor thy God with what? Your substance. You remember Proverbs chapter 9? Chapter 3 verse 9? Bibili nasema. So honor cannot be complete without substance being involved. Basi heshima yezi kuwa kamilifu kama ujaeka kitu hapo ndani. When I honor God. Wakati mimi ni na mwishimu mungu. I have to communicate or show it, illustrate it through substance. Lazima ni onyeshe kupitia basi kifo. My own substance. Kifo changu mwenyewe. When I honor my wife. Kama ni na mwishimu mke wangu. I have to communicate the same. My substance must be involved in my honor. Lazima basi mali yangu yu usike. Now the Bible says this. Biblia nasema yu. Where are the treasures of a man? Basi palipo basi mali ya mtu. There shall be what? His heart. Moyo waki takuwa pale. So one of the ways of proving, showing my affection from the heart towards my wife. Jia moja kwenyesha basi upendo wangu kutoka moyo ni mwangu kwa mkiwangu. It is to communicate to her my treasures. Ni kwenyesha basi mali yangu kwa mkiwangu. To share with her my treasures. Kugawa ma, kugawanya mali yangu kwa ke. Are we together? Kupa moja. Are we together? Kupa moja. Alright, let's read together. So, honor your father and what? Your mother. Shimu baba ya kina mamaki. Give us King James Version for the purpose of clarity and simplicity. Let's go, let's go. Uh -huh. Yes, for God commands saying, Basi mungu wa kisema, Read with me please. Tome pamoja. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. What did that say? Jeyili malisha haji. Hold on. Tuli ya ha? Pastor. It is... An Old Testament theology. Iyo ni mambo ya gane ya kale pasta. Where is Matthew? Basi mali kwa hapi hapi. Is it old or new? Iyo ni bagane la kale ya magijipi ya. He says. Anasema. If you don't honor your father and mother. Basi kama ute ishimu babako na mama yako. And it's like you have cast them because the opposite of honor. Basi kinyume cha kwe shimu. Is cursing. Ni kama basi laana. And he says. Na anasema. He that curses father or mother. Yoyote basi ya naem laani baba yake ya mama. Let him be put to death. Na wacha na ya kufi. Verse 5. Sari watano. Verse 5. Verse 5. Sari watano. But you say. Bali nyinyi mnasema. Whoever says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift to God. I, I don't know if you people are, are, are getting this. Give me another simpler version. How I hell you? 
But you say, Lakini unasema, that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to God. In other words, it's called Koban. Wanajaribu kuita Koban. It's called Koban. Inaitwa Koban. It is anything that is consecrated, any form of offering that is offering that is consecrated to be given to God. Chochote ambacho kimewekwa wakfu kupeanwa kwa Mungu. And he says, Anasema, in case you want to give or your parents are in need. Kama basi wazazi wako basi wana mahitaji. And what you had. Na kile ambacho uko nacho, you committed it, you are dedicated it to give to God. Uliko umejitolea kupeana kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Now that is the case that you are dealing with. Hiyo ndio basi iko sasa hiyo ndio case. What will be the outcome? Basi matokeo yake inafai kuwa gani? Verse 6. Sari wa 6. He says. Anasema, they are not to honor their father or mother. Basi asimheshimu baba yake ama mama yake. With it. Thus you nullify the word of God. Basi mkalitangua neno la Mungu kwa ajili ya mapokeo. For the sake of your tradition. Kwa ajili basi ya mapokeo yenu. What the scripture means? Hii inamaanisha hivi. Giving to church. Kupeana kwa kanisa. Doesn't exonerate you from giving to your parents. Haimaanishi sasa usipeane kwa wazazi wako. When last did you give to Ule, your parents? Ulipeana kwa wazazi wako mwisho lini? Just in case you don't have spiritual parents. Kama una wazazi wa kiroho. Physical parents you have spiritual parents. Kama una basi wazazi wako wa kizazi basi kama uko na wazazi wa kiroho. There's 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 somebody ako hapo. Kuna mtu tu ambaye ako hapo kama mzazi wako. We have people that don't give to their parents. Kuna watu ambao basi ampei wazazi wenu hata because kwa sababu they pay tight. Wewe kwa sababu umelipa basi azaka ni hivyo. Because kwa sababu they gave to church project. Walipeana kwa mradi ya kanisa. Because kwa sababu they gave to the prophet. Walipeana kwa nabii. Let me tell you something. Wacha nikwambie kitu. If all we do is to give to church. Kama tu tunafanya tu kupeana kwa kanisa peke yake. I repeat it we are in trouble. Narudia tuko kwa shida kubwa sana. that silence is so nice naingia uh, i love the silence hey you see if the word of god doesn't reprove you kama neno la mungu wewe basi it's all the time karuka hey shout ye we shout oh ye scream ruksha mgu ah ah wakati mwingine we have to do things the way they are needful there is one thing that happens kuna kitu moja ambayo inafanyika can i give you an overview niwape tu basi um Whenever you come under the parental blessing. Wakati basi unapata ile baraka ya wazazi. Something so unique begins to happen in your life. Kuna kitu ambaye inaanza kufanyika kwa maisha yako. And we see it in the life of Jacob himself. Na tunaiona kwa maisha ya Yakobo mwenyewe. But before he was blessed. Lakini kabla abarikiwe. He had to meet a certain demand. Ilibidi basi azingatie mambo fulani. Let's go to Genesis 24. Kitabu cha mwanzo mlango wa 24. Before we round up. Kabla tumalizie. Genesis 24. Kitabu cha mwanzo okay. 27 sorry. From verse 4. Genesis 27 start from verse 4 then jump to verse 24. He says that prepare me the kind of tasty food I like. Basi niandalie chakula kitamu. For the purpose of uh, emphasis let's start just from verse 1. We we'll read very quickly. Wacha tusome basi kuanzia mstari wa kwanza ili tuelewe. Oh Jesus thank you. Now the Bible says. Biblia inasema when Isaac was old and his eyes were so weak that he could no longer see. Basi kwa Isaac alikuwa mzee na macho yake yamekuwa yamepofuka sio. He called for Esau his older son. Akamuita Esau mwanake mkubwa. And said to him. Akamwambia, My son. Mwanangu, here I am. Niko hapa. He answered first. Na yeye akamwitikia. He said Isaac said. Akamwambia, I am now an old man and don't know the day of my death. Tazama basi nimekuwa mzee wala sijui siku yangu ya kufa. Verse 3. Sari watatu. Now then. Basi get your equipment. Na kuomba basi kusanya vidrago vyako. Your quiver. Basi podo lako. Your bow. Na upinde wako. And go out to the open country to hunt some wild game for me. Ukaende nyikani ukaniwindie mawindo. Stop there. Let me chase a rabbit. Ha. I know why you are so limited in blessing your parents. Najua kwa sababu gani wewe unataka kubariki wazazi wako? Because your hands are limited. They don't have anything to do. Mak kwa sababu wewe pengine hauna kazi. You remember? Mwana kwa mamaambia, another mm. selling me go and work. Ende ufanye kazi. Ndiye alikuwa anajaribu kuambia sawa. After you have gotten a hunt. Ba- baada ya kupata basi mawindo, bring letter. Prepare it for me. Iniandalie. How will you bless with empty hands? Utabariki aje na mikono iliyo tupu. You see, honor is not complete until substance is involved. Eh, It's the law of honor. You will na never mali. talk about honor without communication of substance. Hautaongelea basi heshima bila kutoa mali yako. 
Let's, you never talk about love without giving. For God so loved the world that he prophesied upon it, that he prayed over it. What did he do? He did what? He gave. And he says, Anasema, Go hunt and bring to me. Jump, jump to verse 24. Jump to verse 24. He says, Anasema, Are you really my son? You know what transpired. I he said, I am. He asked. I am. He replied, We know very well that was not a sound. He said, I am. 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 He Verse 25. Verse 25. Then he said, my son, bring me some of your game to eat that I may give you my blessing. Jacob brought it to him and said, and he ate and brought some wine and he drank. Verse 26. Then his father Isaac said to him, Now that I am satisfied, now that I am pleased, I want to release something that will transcend generations. I want to release something that your generations will never recover from. You might be the entry point, but this thing will interfere with generations after you. He said, my son, come here and kiss me. Verse 27. So he went to him and kissed him. When Isaac caught him, smelled his cloth, he blessed him and said, ah, the smell of my son is like the smell of the field of the of that of the Lord has blessed. Look at the blessing. Look at the blessing. Look at the blessing. May God give you heaven's deal. Na Bwana naye akupe basi umande wa mbingu. And arts riches. Na manono ya nchi. Stop there. What does that mean? Ina maanisha nini? What does that mean? Ina maanisha nini? I will help you. Na kusaidia leo. I will help you. Wacha nikusaidie. Do you know what heavens do? Do. Je unajua umande wa mbingu inafanya nini kwa maisha ya mtu? The work of dew. Kazi ya umande it is to make sure that no dryness. Ni kuhakikisha kwamba hakuna basi kukauka na ukame. Yeah. Have you not read that book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 28 says that the blessing of thy father have made you prevail. Hey. Oh, just hear you. I'm just hear you. There are people Kuna watu who are not tithers. But lakini, parental blessings wazazi, are evidently tangible in their lives. I told you, if all we give, we give in church. We are in trouble. If all we do is to give to the poor, we are in trouble. If all we do, it is to give to the prophet, we are in trouble. If all we do is to give offering, we are in trouble. We have to give holistically. 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 <laughs> That's why I told you. Spiritual business is so serious. Biashara ya kiroho ni nafai chukuliwa makini. Unajua tujaenda Genesis Ephesians chapter 6. Atujaguza huko bado. Tayari tuko hapa. Anasema heaven's deal and earth's riches. Basi unyevu wa mbingi kutakuwa sana. An abundance of grain and, and what? New wine. Na basi kutakuwa na basi mvinyo. You'll always be refreshed. Utakuwa siku zote tu umenyweshwa. You'll always live in abundance. Utakuwa tu kwa wingi siku zote. That's what now the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2. Katika kitabu cha Efeso mlango wa 6 verse 2. Ili na iwe sawa nawe. It's wellness of life. Kuna ile basi usawa wa maisha yako. The Bible says. Biblia inasema that you may live long. Ili basi uishi maisha marefu. It is the only commandment in the Bible that has a place. Ephesians 6 verse 2. Okay, start from verse 2. Verse 2, verse 2. Honor your father and mother. Which is the first commandment with the what? With the what? So when you see the word promise, what should come to your mind? Covenant. And God is covenant keeping God. He's not a joke. Please listen to me. 
Skiza. Even if your parents are rich, the Bible has commanded you to give them. Biblia imeamuru uwabariki. You have not been exonerated from giving to them. Aujaweka kando basi kuwapea. That grace, your name, you cannot receive by you receiving from your parents. Never. You must give to them. It is law. It is law. It's a principle. You cannot bend it. You cannot break it. You must observe it. If indeed you want the blessing. The first commandment. Imagine. Basi ile ile amri ambayo iko na hadi. Any commandment. Hakuna amri nyingine iliyo na hadi. Ambayo inagusia ya mama. I know we have other other commands but have promises. Najua kuna amri zingine ziko na hadi ndio. But this one is the first one. Lakini hii ni ya kwanza. What does it mean? Inamaanisha nini? The word first there means proton. Kwanza hapa inamaanisha proton. Means it will be observed consistently. First. Ita itazingatiwa kwanza. Can't ignore it. Uwezi ipuza. Wengine wenyu hapa mnaishi kwa manyumba mazuri, wazazi wenyu wako matope. Some of you you are living in good houses. Wengine wenyu mko hapa, mnakula vizuri, wazazi wenyu hawana chakula. You are eating well but your parents Muko are hapa. Food. You are Muko here. Mko hapa mnaishi maisha mazuri. You are living good life. Na wazazi wenyu nyumbani. And your parents are kwa matambara, hawana manguo. They have no clothes. Mko hapa na wazazi wenyu wananyeshewa nyumbani. And your parents are being rained on at you, home. You, you, you have a problem. Uko na shida. Wewe hey, uko na shida. That wewe. is the same way your children will do. Ivo ivo ndio watoto wako watakufanyia wewe ukizikia. Hawata kuheshimu. Hawata kuheshimu. We we need to call ourselves into a meeting. Nafaa tujiite mkutano. We need to call even if your parent is the CEO of an, of an organization. Hata kama basi mzazi wako ni msimamizi wa kampuni. You have not been exempted from giving to them. Don't lie to yourself. Usijidanganye hata wewe unafaa umpee. When last did you give to your father? Ulipea babako mshuleni. When last did you give to your mother? Ulipea mamako mshuleni. Hata birthday, birthday, mm. peke yake birthday. Yake. Mami, happy birthday. Eh toko wazima Nairobi. Hata so uweze mtumia so. 100 tu bana. Then you say The Bible says Bili nasema that the children of the righteous are blessed. Baba basi wana wenye haki wamebarikiwa. Hold on before you rush there. Kabla ukimbilia. Na kusikia na kusikia vizuri. God cannot bend this. Mungu hawezi basi weka kando. Just because you are righteous. Kwa sababu wewe ni mwenye haki. It is part of the things that makes you off of your righteousness. Ni baina ya zile vitu ambazo zinafanya wewe mwenye haki. You can't ignore them. Huwezi puuza haya mambo. We have people that have died young. Tuko na wale ambao wamekufa mkiwa wachana. Because they disregarded honor for their parents. Kwa sababu hawakuheshimu wazazi wao. We have people that have entered into accusations because their parents are crying their names. Kwa sababu wazazi wenyu wanalia tu jina yenu negatively. Wanalia jina yenu kwa mabaya. Uoni wewe uoni aibu, uoni aibu unaenda ushago. Alafu una expect kuingia kwa budget yao. Wewe uoni kuna shida na wewe kwa akili yako. Budget yao. Si ubebe sukari ubebe uende at least useme ah msijali sisi tutaongezea kile mko nacho. Kuna baraka utaombea. There some blessings you know pray for. Kuna baraka utafastia. There some prayers you want fast for them. Baraka moja ya hizo ni hii. Next next verse was three. Sari wa tatu. So that it may go well. Ili basi upate heri with you. Upate heri and that you may enjoy basi ukae siku nyingi not that you may live long ili sio kwa muishi no, you are long living your longevity will be full of enjoyment kuishi kwako kwingi itakuwa pia imejaa furaha my children will not dishonor me Was, watoto wangu basi hawatakosa kuniheshimu because i'm sowing seeds of honor kwa sababu mimi mbegu napanda ni mbegu ya heshima ha je watakosa kuniheshimu wapi unaona umetoroka mm. unazeeka na utakuwa na watoto Aha. utafeel kile wazazi wako na feel mm. usifanye ngoja ngoja as much as god has blessed you kama Mungu amekubariki you need to understand something lazima uelewe jambo fulani you have to give according to your faith lazima upeane kulingana na imani yako and if your faith is in Christ Jesus kama imani yako iko ndani ya Kristo which happens to be the word of god ambayo ni neno la Mungu and we need to follow all the precepts to the truth basi tunafaa tufuatie kila mambo ndani mpaka mwisho spirit ya mormon itakufanya uweved mambo ya kugive Roho ya kupenda pesa itafanya basi utoroke mambo ya kupeana. Yeah. I sense this so heavy in my spirit pastor Grace. Yeah. Naisi sana kwa uzito kwa moyo wangu. Some of us our parents will lose us. Wengine wetu wazazi wetu watatu. From the cages they put us in, the cages of accusation. Watatuachilia huru pale ambapo wametufungia. Please 
giving to God doesn't exonerate you from blessing your parents. Listen to me. Paying your loans doesn't exonerate you from blessing your parents. Doesn't exonerate you from paying your tithes. Doesn't exonerate you from giving your offerings. Giving a prophetic offering.